Hi everyone! <laughs> like we have the opposite aesthetics going on here today. But today we're getting to know Gabby Serena. So how are you today? <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty good. Just had my Korean uh, midterm interview section, mm. the speaking section. So that was tough. Right. What year of school are you in? So currently I am a first semester sophomore. Um, at George Mason Korea. I'm a direct enrolled student. So I've been here for about three semesters now. Awesome. Okay, what is your major? Uh, my major is Global Affairs. I have a concentration in Media, Communication, and Culture, and I'm also working towards my Korean minor. Ooh. Are you involved in any other clubs? In um, I actually am with you and um, several other of our friends, President Kian Kwan. Um, Maggie Rubel and LJ Hader, we all founded and started the Catriots Club Spring 2021 and are currently the running officers um, this semester. In my first semester, I was also a member of ABN, Asian Boss Next, and worked on editing videos for that um, YouTube page, and I was also in club and lingual to better my Korean language at the time. Okay, where are you from? So I am from Virginia Beach, Virginia, which is about a three and a half hour drive away from the Fairfax George Mason campus and um, Washington DC itself. How did you learn about Mason Korea then? So I actually learned about Mason Korea just from my own self-research because my main goal was to study abroad, preferably in an Asian country such as the Philippines, Japan, Korea. So I was just looking for whatever program would get me out of America the longest. <laughs> right. Um, so having the George Mason Korea campus be a three year campus at Korea and then only one year at Fairfax was the perfect deal. I've actually similar situation. So you just kind of went into the search bar and typed in like schools Korean, in Korea. Korean programs, yeah. Korean study abroad programs, looked at all of the schools mm -hmm. in the Virginia district and GMU just had the best program for me. Oh wow. This one is really convenient considering the fact that it's three years, especially since you're in Virginia. It must have been almost gold to find that. It really was. Wow. What is your best study tip? We gotta know. Korean midterm master today. <laughs> so I will be honest, I am an extremely bad studier. I have had trouble for years, but I'm apparently a really good test taker. Mm. I know the material, I just don't do the work. <laughs> but I've been fixing that. Um, especially these past few years. One thing I would say has worked really, really well is the Pomodoro technique. Um, I actually right. showed you this technique right. maybe a couple weeks ago. That's true. It is a technique where you set up either timers or follow a YouTube show. And basically you study for, let's say 20 minutes, and then you have a mandatory five minute break and then you go back to studying for 20 more minutes, mm -hmm. and then you have another five minute break. And this will keep going on for maybe two hours, three hours, four hours, however much you wanna study. And that mandatory break really helps me not lose all motivation, right. track of time, everything, <laughs> and then I can just not get back into it. But with right. this technique, I found that I am actually able to study for longer, maybe two hours, three hours, even four hours, and mm -hmm. actually retain information because I'm giving my brain that five minute break. I also tried this and it's been going well so far. So definitely try that out. What is the one thing you found the most difficult since starting college? I actually graduated high school 2019. So I attended community college for one year before coming to Mason, Korea. So mm -hmm. I've already been in college technically three years. Mm -hmm. And I would say since starting college, it is much harder to hold myself accountable mm -hmm. because especially in high school where it's mandatory to go at like 7, 10 a.m. and stay until like 2, 10 p.m. just going through your classes all throughout the day versus college where you can make your own schedule, you can have 9 a.m. classes or all nighttime classes. So that sort of flexibility 
also enables me to not hold myself accountable Understood. going to class and pushing myself mm. so i would say that like especially in the beginning i was very like oh let me just um do whatever i want kind mm. of but now you need to like get yourself together right. hold yourself accountable um yeah that was like pretty difficult once starting mm. college. But trying to find a routine, because in high school you have the daily routine that's almost already set for you, but then now you kind of have to figure out a weekly routine. Mm -hmm. At least for me, everything changes by, by week. week yeah. <laughs> Saying that, what is one thing that you love the most about college so far? The freedom of creating my own schedule means right. that I can sleep in and get like a good solid amount of like eight hours rest mm -hmm. which adult bodies need i can go out and hang out with friends eat dinner be more social and have more time for that because the classes are only like 75 minutes or like two hours 40 minutes actually being able to work on my personality and better myself as a human and have all True. these experiences like going to seoul meeting people and like exploring mm. korea itself garnering all of these experiences to create who i am today because of the freedom that college allows is something that i am extremely extremely thankful for experiencing this as international students being in korea we are lucky enough to be able to see and do so I totally agree with that. Last question for this interview. What has been your favorite class so far in all of college experience? Honestly, my favorite class would have to be like my Korean classes. One, because I am learning the language of the country that I am staying in. Right. Friends that I made um, <laughs> in that, especially since like first semester, like we have actually in contact, become closer friends throughout the semesters. Um, it was a really small class, so mm -hmm. the teacher could actually um, work one-on-one -on -one with us, have more of a personal bond with us. We even created like inside jokes between us all. Right. Like a really enjoyable class that I actually want to pay attention in yes. and actually study for. What's the name of the professor? So my first and second semester professors was Kyung Lee. And then my semester now is In Hyung Park. Wow. And they are some of the sweetest uh, professors at this campus that I would say. So yeah. Absolutely agree. We love you. <laughs> that concludes our info interview. Thank you so much for all of your super awesome and honest <laughs> information. <laughs> Thank you. You did a great job.